Hi guys, we are back with the third reading of Erie Elementary, Recess is a Jungle. This is the third book in the series, and today we are reading chapters 7, 8, and 9. Chapter 7 is called The Statue's Face. If you remember, that's the vision that we ended with in the last chapter. The huge towering man did not move, neither did the crow. Fog swirled around them. Very slowly, Sam inched forward. The hall monitor sash tugged at Lucy and Antonio to follow him. There was a gust of cool wind and the fog cleared. They saw then that it was not really a man. Not really. It's just a statue, Lucy exclaimed. Antonio breathed a sigh of relief. We were worried over a big hunk of stone. The statue was cracked and chipped. Large black insect insects crawled in and out of it. Green moss covered much of the statue, including its face. The statue stood atop a stone base covered in vines. The soccer ball, Antonio said, pointing. The ball rested against the base of the statue. Hey, we found it, Lucy said. Antonio scooped it up and wiped mud off of it. Sam barely heard his friends. He was too busy staring at the statue. He wondered who the man was. Squawk, squawk! The crow flapped its wings and flew into the fog. Sam untied the sash and threw it over his shoulder. Can you two help me up, he said. I want to peel away that slimy green gunk so we can see the statue's face. Moments later, Lucy stood on Antonio's shoulders and Sam was climbing up Lucy's back. Antonio groaned. You guys, how strong do you think I am? Pretty strong, Sam said with a grin. Just hold still for one more second. Antonio stumbled a bit, but Lucy held tight to Sam's ankles. Sam grabbed onto the top of the statue. They were steady now. Sam's fingers clutched the moss, and slowly he began pulling it off the statue's face. There's my dogs. Let me pause it. Right, we're back from the dog barking. The moss was wet and cold as ice. It smelled of mud and earth. As Sam pulled it away from the statue's mouth, he felt cold air rush at him. It was like something old and lifeless had just breathed on him. Sam gulped. He continued peeling away the moss. At last, a large bit came free. Sam saw a face staring back at him. He cried out, The statue! It's a statue of Orson Erie! <laughs> Chapter 8 is called, It's a Trap! Sam was clinging to the statue. Lucy looked up at him. Orson Eerie, all the way out here in the jungle, she asked. The thought of the creepy scientist made Antonio's legs feel wobbly. He stumbled and Lucy fell forward. Sam tumbled from her shoulders. A second later, they all collapsed on the ground in a heap. Something caught Antonio's eye. He pulled at the vines covering the statue's base. There was writing on the stone. Can you see that writing? It says, this statue marks the purchase of property by Orson Erie in the year 1917. Hmm, Lucy said, I wonder what, Sam asked. Lucy unzipped her backpack and pulled out Orson Erie's journal. Sam and Antonio had found the red leather book when they went into the depths of the school to rescue Lucy. She quickly flipped the pages. Look at this map, Lucy cried out. I think Orson Erie bought this land for the school. See the area marked soccer field? There she is looking at the map. And there is the map. But a soccer field was never built, said Antonio. These trees were never knocked down, and the fence was never even moved. Sam gulped. He had a horrifying thought. Maybe anything that's tied to the school is alive. Maybe it's all under Orson Erie's spell. His power, it could reach farther than we ever imagined. Sam looked up at the stone face. It almost looked like it was grinning. Sam swallowed. We really need to find a way back to school, Lucy said. We've been away for too long. There's the statue grinning. Lucy's words made Sam's blood run cold. Sam felt the hall monitor sash in his hands. He looked at the soccer ball and then up at the towering statue. Suddenly it all made sense. Terrifying sense. We left the students unprotected, Sam exclaimed. While we've been stuck in this jungle, Erie Elementary's been left without its protectors, without us. Orson Erie pulled that ball in here so we'd follow it. Lucy couldn't believe it. Do you mean we've been tricked? 
Yes, said Sam. This was all just a trap. And with us lost in this jungle, Antonio said, the school is free to attack the students. Chapter 9 is called Hurry! There they are running back to the school. We need to get back to school now, Sam cried. He was just able to spot the school through the fog. The top of the building peaked above the trees. That way, Lucy said. They raced through the woods. The trees seemed to howl. The branches rattled and the leaves shook. Sam's heart pounded. His legs hurt. He'd never run so hard in his life. We're getting close. I could see the fence, Antonio said. They scampered up a small hill. At last, they crawled through the fence and burst out of the thick jungle. They now found themselves back on the playground, standing next to the swing set. Up ahead were the slides, then the monkey bars, and just beyond that, the school. Fog surrounded it. Sam caught his breath. He thought, this afternoon was crazy scary, but now we're safe. And there they found it. Whoosh, bajoom, sick! The bright green playground grass was suddenly sprouting up all around them. It was growing out of control. Sam, Lucy, and Antonio stumbled. What's happening? Lucy screamed. Huge blades of grass shot up. One whizzed past Sam's head. Each blade was ten feet high. The friends huddled together, and then all of a sudden, everything stopped. Grass had grown up around them. Ahead of them was a long, winding path through the greenery. Sam's eyes were as wide as silver dollar pancakes. Uh, did our playground just turn into a hedge maze? They looked around. Sam was right. They were standing in the middle of a winding labyrinth with walls of grass and trees. See it? They're going to have to make their way through there. We'll never get out of here, Lucy said. We have to find a way out, Sam said. Antonio grinned and reached into his pocket. Have no fear, I've got my lucky peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'll leave a trail of breadcrumbs, he said. That way, even if we get totally lost, we can at least get back to where we started. Sam smiled. Good thinking. Now, come on, through the hedge maze we go. All right, and you'll come back for chapters 10, 11, and 12.